So I've managed to get the old timer out. They also use billets instead of a screw to mount it to the box, which has proved to create other new issues. So I'm gonna have to drill holes into it to mount the new one. Either that or adhere it with double-sided tape crudely or something and just not put a faceplate. Those are all I can think of as two options. Kinda not wanting to just tape it to the box, even though honestly, it would do and it really wouldn't make a difference I just don't want to do it that way because I'm stubborn so I'm gonna attempt to hand drill this thing it's pretty thick looking aluminum so it might go horribly wrong but I'm gonna give it a shot I'm gonna go ahead and remove these old bulbs See if I can make do with what I got because I don't really feel like going to the store to get a special bit. This is a 764 uncoated bit, but it's like a standard bit. I think they, the kit that I bought these from claims they're titanium coated. I don't know. It's probably BS, but uh, I'm going to make do with what I got. I got some old uh, <laughs> skateboard bearing oil. I'm going to use that to lubricate just because that's what I got laying around. And I am going to use this bad boy to kind of get it started and wish me luck. The trick will be keeping it still. It's also on the plug side, which is bad. I almost need like a piece of wood to elevate it, preferably. Okay, I didn't anticipate the cable thing. How am I gonna combat that? I need like a piece of wood. Maybe what I can do is use put it on some plate. Do-it-yourself jinky stuff. <laughs> eh, whatever. That works decent.
So I'm actually pretty stoked. I got it like dead on with the holes. Didn't really deviate from the spot I was supposed to drill and it, it's exact. So super happy about that. Now I just gotta cross my fingers that these little screws can tap the metal and just sort of secure it. All right, so I had to go back to the hardware store. Um, the, the little machine screws that come with the, uh, the timer were unable to tap the metal. I actually busted the screw and had to plier it back out of the hole. So I got some, uh, they're not tapping screws, they're sheet metal screws. Since I've already technically piled, piloted the hole, I could go back and just make the hole a little bigger and then do machine screws with a nut which I debated, but this just seems even easier. So I'm just gonna kind of re-thread the existing threads that are for the little um, wall plate screws with these um, with these tapping screws and call it a day. <laughs> configured the wires actually kind of come out the back instead of um, the sides like on the analog timer and so um, we kind of protrude into the pathway of the closest bulb but uh, I did my best to kind of tuck them to the side and I, I kind of zip tied them down a little bit and kind of scrunched them into the side I mean there is gonna be maybe a little bit of cable in the way to a minor degree, but I got it pretty tucked. Pretty good, so I'm not stressing on it too bad. That's kind of the price you pay when you retrofit something with something else that's not really made for. But uh, I'm pretty stoked on it, it looks good. This is like what it looks like all mounted up. And uh, I mean, it turned out pretty clean overall, so. Now let's uh, put the bulb in. So I picked up some brand new bulbs for this unit. Some stuff that I just took out are actually the original uh, ones that came with the unit, she told me, which are like eight years old. Figured it was in my best interest to have brand new ones so that I can get more accurate exposures and best that I can get out of it anyways. <laughs> So for the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run to the glass door tomorrow, pick up a new piece of glass for the top just because you know, the piece that came with it was a little scratched and, um, and then it'll be done. Hey.